in the center of the Netherlands. The second or third largest city of the Netherlands. The location is in the center of the Netherlands. So because of that, there is a, a big train station here in the city, also a student city. We have been here many times, but it's been some time since uh, my last visit. So we are lucky again. There's a good weather in October. In Ottoman, it's almost 18 Celsius. Bright, sunny, beautiful. We are nearby Dom Tower, the highest church tower in the Netherlands. But as I see, it's still under construction, under renovation. See that here they also sell green stuff socks, also bicycles. The bicycle life is bigger than Amsterdam here because of the student population, I think. There are more bicycle infrastructure throughout the city. The biggest bike park of the Netherlands is located in the city. With Capacity in total more than 25,000 bicycles. Let's have a look to Dom Tower from a distance. It's been a religious center of the Netherlands since 8th century. Very long history when it comes to religious things. And Utrecht. Obviously much more religious than Amsterdam. <laughs> what do you think? So as you see, it's still under construction. It's pity. I have never been uh, in the observation desk upstairs. So hopefully when they finish this renovation after 10 years, maybe I will visit. <laughs> Let me check who is in while we are watching this view. Hello, UK Northern, Mark Clement, Miriam, thank you so much, Natch, Riz, thank you. I'm happy to be back also. Thai Pixel is here. Good afternoon, good morning, everyone. Let's have a short walk around the city centre. I'm not gonna go through the Dome Tower passage. Instead, let's follow the crowds, the shopping streets. This video will end up at the train station, Utrecht train station. I came here from Wasp in one hour because there are some problems with the train connections between Wasp and Utrecht today and the similar routes also because of some works on the railways so normally normally it's only 30 minutes from waste with sprinter train but uh, today it took my at least one hour but i promised you to come here so i i did my best so We made a poll, you know, on my YouTube community page. So most of the people chose Utrecht, among the other cities. Like I put some options like Leeuwarden, Groningen, and another one I don't remember. Uh, in the south, I think, another city. But majority of the people chose Utrecht, beautiful city. We are nearby Adekracht, the oldest canal of Utrecht. There are also canal cruises here in the city, it's possible, just like Amsterdam, but it's much more calmer than Amsterdam. It's more local, more peaceful, better life here, if you ask me. Not too touristic like Amsterdam, city centre, I mean. The population is almost 400,000, as I remember. 
the train connection between Amsterdam and Utrecht, 30 minutes by, just 30 minutes by train. And there's an active nightlife, cultural life here. There are many theaters. It's a historical city, just like Amsterdam. Actually, I think older than Amsterdam, this city. And it was the most important city until Dutch golden age, until it was surpassed by Amsterdam. So for centuries, this was the most important city in the Netherlands, not just for trading purposes, not just for population and wealth, also it was a religious center of the country. So those are some information about Utrecht. That's all <laughs> about that informative stuff. From now on, we will just see around shopping streets and daily life here. As I said, it's a nice weather. It's an extraordinary weather for October, second day of October today. And it's almost 18 Celsius, partly sunny. We can see Dome Tower from here also, highest church tower. It was celebrated 900 years of Utrecht city. As I see, I think it was last year or this year, I don't know. Let's get on walking. Morgen, JJ NS. Anaria, good morning, good night. Good afternoon. Hello, Paul Montaya. Marcel, hello. Despite it's Sunday, normally Dutch families prefer to spend time at home with the family. The city center is pretty crowded, maybe because of the weather. Nice weather. Because from now on, it's not easy to find such a nice weather in the Netherlands. Most of the time, it will be grey weather, rainy or windy. Today is also windy, but not bad. Another great view. When you are in the centrum, nearby the old canal, this is called Adegracht, in every corner there is another beautiful view. And this, this area is called Binnenstad. It means like uh, inside of the city. I mean, direct translation is like that, but it actually means like city centrum. So there are some food stalls in the busy corners like Vietnamese and Lumpias. And what is that? Tropic Broges sandwiches. Tropic sandwiches, this one, Vietnam. Lumpia is one euro and 30 cents. Lumpia vegetarian or chicken, it doesn't matter whether they use chicken or vegetarian stuff. The price is the same. Welcome to the Netherlands. <laughs> You know, I was on holiday last week, previous week. For that one euro and 30 cents, I was having my whole lunch or dinner on street food stalls. But that's fine. This is normally in Europe and the inflation is high. It was already an expensive country, now it's getting more expensive. Those are the terraces of the restaurants, so you can sit nearby the sea. That one is Turkish restaurant. Oh, I see that. Safran. There's a Turkish restaurant here. Never tried that. And what is that? Mek Famosa is it Italian. Not sure. Anyway, let's go look at how many bicycles you see that maybe the most popular bike city 
is Utrecht. Everyone uses bicycle in the city. And the, the center of the city, actually, it's not available for cars, vehicles. Most of the historical streets are for pedestrians and bicycles only. Let's have a look here. This is price, I think. Most crowded stalls, usually, they are price stalls. Another great view. People are having their brunch or there. And more restaurant terraces like that. And the canal is not busy as Amsterdam. Look at that. There is a warning here. It's something like, big A, attention, you are in a unique historical place. You are. <laughs> something like that. You are walking. Oh, English is already down. <laughs> I didn't see that. Russell Alter same made the best. Please be careful of the bumps. All right. I got the message. Okay, I will be careful. Kayaking is possible in Vitre, as you see. You don't have to go to Indonesia or the Philippines for kayaking. You can do it in the middle of the country in Vitre city. Let's walk until the next corner. <coughs> Oops, sorry for the zoom. The shaky camera. I wanna show you the view again from here. Okay, they are preparing the tables for the evening. Let's see. I'm trying the filters. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I go back to the side street. the shopping life Today, since I arrived to Utrecht, never smell any green stuff. Clean city. Despite there is a coffee shop just 300 meters away from here. Hey, Ma. Popular Dutch department store. Wow, we missed the party. 1980s. Oh, Paul Harnas, good to see you. Welcome. Dylan Williams, hello. 
Thanks so much for subscribing to the channel and thumbs up. It's a great weather to walk around with Reh. Utre has a different vibe, definitely. There's a way to go from here, but I will use the other one. Nineteen right. museum is here. This building is interesting. The national monument, <coughs> I think. Sorry. There is a big bell on the top of the building. I can't see which day it is from. Uh, someone is lying on the ground and police has just arrived. I don't know what's happening. Please thumbs up, guys. I'm here for you. You chose Utrecht, and here I am. Next week, another poll. The other week, sorry. Next weekend, I will choose. There's a mannequin piece here. Look at that. What a surprise. Oops. <laughs> Empty mannequin piece. Never seen an empty mannequin piece. No queue, no line. Hey, Tommy san, good morning. Happy birthday to your dad. Happy birthday, Tommy San family and dad. Wish you healthy, happy new age. Happy birthday from Utrecht, centrum of the Netherlands. Dom Torren Art. I think today there is a racing competition or 
something like marathon in Utrecht. I saw many people with their running uh, clothes, running shorts and t-shirts. Plant-based power food copper branch. Next time I will visit this one. More than one million guests per year. It's a Canadian. Hey, Miriam, this is from Canada. I see a Canada flag. Have you have you this this brand in your city? Toronto, I think. Copper branch.